I'd like to welcome you to a brand new series on YouTube. This is on the Al's Guitar Channel and our new series is called Demystifying Vintage. What we're going to do is look at a series of vintage guitars this season and we're going to try to draw some parallels between what these guitars are capable of versus what is kind of the, the aura out there of vintage guitars. And we're going to do it in a number of ways. Uh, this season we're going to look at some, uh, I guess you'd call them siblings. Uh, right here I have a 1964, I believe it is, Gibson C6 Richard Pick model. Uh, this is a Brazilian Rosewood classical guitar. And its little brother would be the C4, which was also a custom order classical, but it was in maple. We're going to look and see how do these two guitars compare. And of course, how do they compare with a number of other guitars. Uh, we're going to look at a 1934 Gibson L10 F-hole style guitar. Uh, we're going to look at the much appreciated Willie Nelson model, essentially, a 1969 Martin N20, and we're going to look at its little brother as well, a, I believe it's a 74 Martin N10, uh, in addition to a whole bunch of other beautiful vintage guitars that we're going to be investigating this season. Uh, rumor has it that we might also have a, uh, a 1976 Gibson Mark 72. The MK72 was a very special design and was determined it was going to be the future of guitars, though that future never arrived. Anyway, I thought this in, in this video, rather than, you know, doing it more like a project farm where we're kind of investigating and looking and searching for answers, uh, what we're going to kind of do here tonight is just talk a little bit about the process. Uh, of course, we're going to take a look inside these guitars. I have a little scope here to show you, whether it be with mirrors, whether it be with this machine, or whether it, it's with the Al's Guitar X-Ray, which I'm not going to talk any more about, but it'll be a, a fun thing to see where you'll actually be able to get a perfect image of what all the bracing is inside these guitars. Since we want to know by the end of the season, how are, does guitar bracing really affect the sound? I mean, everybody has written tons of books on it. There's all kinds of information on the internet uh, about what the sound quality actually changes in what way. Let's see if it actually shows up in any hard numbers. Uh, one of those hard numbers would be I have here a vibration scope. So we're going to hook some transducers on these guitars and we're going to see where do they vibrate the most and we're going to see how much do they vibrate. And does that correspond to anything? How important is the vibration? Is it the, the amplitude of it or the way it's distributed within the body that makes the sound difference? such as just a plain old, you know, sound measurement. How loud are these guitars? Loud is a perception of good. It's not always a perception of great tone, but it's one of the tests that we're going to look into. And of course, since the guitars that we'll be examining are all 50, 60, 70, 80 years old, uh, we're going to do a little investigation to see how much have they been changed from the original. Uh, we're also going to go inside them to see what the workmanship is. We're going to take a black light and we're going to see if we can detect any finish changes, such as things that have been merely repair areas or we think nothing has been totally refinished that we're going to be looking at. But it's something to consider because that affects the tone also. Anyway, it's going to be quite a journey. Uh, we have other surprises. We have other tests. We have... Uh, couple of tests I haven't even figured out yet. Uh, we also are going to, of course, do all the specifications and the weight. And the most important part of the whole series is these are not guitars that are for sale. These are series uh, of guitars that I've got crisscrossing all over America to bring them to you. They're guitars from collectors' hands, and they're going to be established uh, kind of a hierarchy. Not so much as what my opinion is and how they sound, but do they hold up against other instruments? And maybe we're going to do some modern instruments just as a baseline comparison. Uh, I really haven't decided yet. Uh, one of the, uh, the, the questions that comes up a lot is, what is a vintage guitar? And I don't know. In fact, you've, you've got a keyboard in front of you or a telephone. Why don't you tell me in the comments what a vintage guitar is to you? Is there a cutoff date? Is something from 1990 vintage, 1970, where does that line draw? And, and it, you know, as far as the series goes, as more comments come in, if I have the opportunity to steer it towards an older group of guitars, a newer group of guitars, 
Uh, we're not going to pit, obviously, some of these are nylon versus steel, we're not going to pit them directly against each other, but we are going to identify all the nylon versus all the steel as essentially rank them amongst uh, each other, at least in loudness, vibration, but just a couple categories, because tone is everybody's perception. Anyway, it should prove to be a very interesting uh, season, and uh, while we won't have any, or, you know, rigid schedule of Friday releases or something like this. Uh, we're going to try and get them out there pretty efficiently. And the first guitar up in the hot seat is going to be this Gibson C6. Uh, I really would appreciate it if you would subscribe because this is a brand new channel starting a brand new series. Uh, I wouldn't want you to miss out on anything. Make sure you get your notifications, click the little bell, and be sure to give me comments because I don't mind steering the bus, but I don't want to take anybody for a ride. I want to know where you, the viewer, want this to go. So thank you for tuning in.